if a child wants to do something that can harm him a father will not allow him to do that quran says that we human beings chose to be humans and we opted for the test those people who will go to hell why does not allah stop them from choosing a free will because allah knows in advance that if i will make them human beings and give them free will then i have to punish them in hell how can allah who loves us the most can do this when a father will not let his child do something which can harm him please answer my question what the question is referring to is a verse in the quran from surah azab chapter number 33 verse number 72 which says that allah had put the trust on the heavens and the earth and the mountains and they refused it when allah wanted to put the trust the mana to the heavens and the earth and the mountain they refused it it was the human beings who were ignorant and fools who accepted it that means allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave an option that do you want to take this you know follow the commandments of allah and but natural the human being we were the people who accepted it and the quran says we were ignorant and we were fool and surah azab so the question posed by the questioner is that how come allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is more loving than the father the father doesn't want to harm his children so allah knows in advance that when the human beings will accept this test many will fail so how come he allowed those human beings who would fail to accept this challenge what you have to understand is that most of the creations of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are muslims that means they submit their will to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the mountains submit their will to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the trees submit their will to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the animals submit their will to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the heavens and the earth all of them they have no free will of their own similarly with the angels the angels follow the commandments of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given an option of a new creation that is the human beings we have a free will we can either obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we can disobey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now after the free will is given to obey or disobey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then if you obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us on a higher level the other creation of allah they obey allah 100 percent they have no free will of their own but the jinn and the men <coughs> the jinn and the men they have a free will and the human being on a higher degree the human being they can obey or they can disobey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are even higher than the angels because they have a free will if they disobey they are like the satans so now the choice is there the question posed is that if allah knew in advance that these human beings will not obey allah why did he create them why did he allow them to choose this test and a father will never want to harm the children i agree with you normally the father would not want to harm the children but there may be occasion when the child or when the son is really disobedient and has broken all the limits at that time the father may be forced to harm the child i have to give an example suppose a person has many children a father has many children maybe five ten children and one of the child he becomes a drug addict and after he becomes the drug addict one day he has drug and he comes to his mother that is the wife of the father and he demands money and the mother does not give money knowing that if she gives money he will have more drugs and then he takes out a gun and he's about to kill the mother and if the father is there what will the father do but natural to save his wife to save the mother of of his son he will kill the son here though the father is kind he because the son has gone to extreme has crossed all the borders and the only thing he can do is if he has a knife and if he has to stab him in the back he'll do that because he has broken all the limits so to say that the father will never harm the child is not right most of the cases yes but if the son has broken all the limits and has gone beyond the limits there are chances similarly he allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is just he is kind while he is kind and forgiving he is also merciful if the father forgive a son 10 times allah will forgive 1000 times a million times he is much more loving than a father but here what you have to understand 
that Allah has given an option of a creation which has a free will that is a human being. Now, if he is given option, but naturally some will obey, some will not obey. If all are going to obey, then there is no new creation at all. So you have to understand, Allah says very clearly in the Quran, if he wanted, you could have made all the human beings believe, then where is the test? Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mul chapter number 16 and verse number 2, Allah the khalaq al mawta wal hayata. He has created death and life to test which of you is the good indeed. Now, regarding a question, why did he allow the human beings who are going to fail to take the test? Do you mean to say that those human beings who will fail the test, he will not allow them to become human beings? Then all the human beings will become like angels. Then what is the difference? So what you are saying is illogical. If Allah wants to create a creation which has a free will, this is a new creation. And imagine if all the human beings are going to follow Allah's commandment, then where is the test? If everyone is going to follow the commandments, you won't require messengers. Who will the messengers give message to? There have to be some people who will disobey. There has to be some people who will go against the messenger, who will go against the good people. They may fight them, then they may hit them, they may kill them. There has to be only if there are two types of people, if there is a test. If all the people are going to obey the Allah's commandments, then what is the difference between the human being and the angel? So a question is illogical. That why did Allah not tell these human beings who are going to fail, they don't become human beings. This is the choice he has given. So in this choice, some will fail, some will pass the test. Those who pass the test will go to Jannah, paradise. Those who fail will go to Jannah, will go to hell. So this is the test we are leading and we have to follow the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who follow the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have passed this test. Hope that's the question.